Okay, that is an orange tiny terror that I have been working on. Sorry, just adjusting the camera. Should be all right. I didn't know this, but they are basically a front end of something like a JCM 800. So your typical cascaded 12AX7s uh, into pretty much the back end of something like an AC15, a Vox AC15. So used to be pretty popular little amps. You could pick them up for a few hundred bucks, maybe three or hundred bucks. Um, I paid 300 for this one. Um, I've got the cage and the, the rest of it somewhere else, but the sound of it was never something that I was uh, completely in love with. So they're doing some research and getting my hands on the schematic and going through it. Um, I put a bright switch on it, which is good, particularly at lower gain. So that's stock, um, sorry, that's no bright cap. About 100 pico farad and about 500 pico farad, so it just gives it a bit more uh, top end clarity, which is uh, nice. Um, got a choke, which helps get rid of harshness, uh, filters out DC ripple in the power supply as well, but that yeah translates to a nicer sound, uh, just smoother, clearer. It's got a, uh, a Hammond output transformer. Um, which does wonders for it as well. You typically see something like that in an 18 watt Marshall. Uh, still got the standard power transformer just feeding the voltage. On the back there's a triode pentode switch. So that's pentode, full five pins of the L84s running each one and then that takes it down to the three. The triode um, kind of gets more of a squishy on a twee sound is how Mesa market that one on their amps. All right, underneath, let's move the camera up a touch so we can see what we're looking at. A few circuit mods, uh, mainly in the filtering and the EQ, I've upgraded the uh, shithouse caps that it used to come with, stock with Sprague's. Um, they sound much better. This is where we've got our bright cap over here. There's the pentode tray switch over there. Um, cathode resistors have been increased. You get more gain out of it. Got rid of some of the um, uh, the high pass filtering caps in the signal path as well, which was just bleeding out the high end. Like I say, stock, these things were just too fuzzy, too square wavy. Um, they were harsh um, in the mids and the high end. Didn't really like it. Found them a bit flubby as well. Fun amps for, uh, you know, your power cord riffing and all the rest of it. But if you want to get some clarity in the sound, then, um, yeah, I'm way happier with it. And 15 watts will definitely uh, pump through a, a 412 or a 212 or even a, a decently equipped 112 and keep up with the drummer. Um, just having a look in here, see if there's anything else that I can remember I've done. Um, yeah, it's mainly just EQ and... and um, signal path changing and some filtering as well to those components um, and preamp tubes. Cool, let's have a listen to it. So in terms of what I'm running in this thing, tube wise, valve wise, it's a vintage Brunner from the 60s made in England in the first position, which will usually um, the amp, uh, on any amp, the tube closest to the input, the preamp tube closest to your input is your first position. And that's gonna go a long way towards uh, the overall tonality of your amp. Phase inverter, it's a Russian uh, something or other, does the job, sounds pretty good. And I've tried a lot of different tubes in this and I'm pretty happy with this setup and it's just a pair of JJ EL84s in the back. So that should be warmed up. Um, hopefully there's no cold solder joints or any other shenanigans and this thing should do what it should. Let's pull custom EL Faithful 68 reissue with the JB Junior setup. Okay.
Let's have a listen to her switch her into 15 watts. Lovely. All right, so no bright cap. Cap? Struggling to speak. Alrighty. <laughs> Just on the bridge pickup. You can hear a bit more high end up there, and then I'll switch it down. Switch her into triad. Feels a bit more squishy. up around three quarters so I'm going to wind the guitar's volume control back and just bring up the game with the guitar. <laughs> you would have had to uh, get that tone control uh, jacked right up to get some high end clarity out of this thing but I'm pretty happy with this I'm liking it so no bright cap first bright cap about 100 pico the tone is dimed Gains about uh, two o'clock, something like that. None. Some. The most. controlling your gain off your guitar's volume knob it's um way better way better so uh, I'm in the middle position on this lowest pole so both pickups volume knobs are back around two <laughs> Controls about five, get a bit more kind of grind happening. And now max out the volume controls.
Not bad for uh, about 550, 600 bucks all up. Plenty of amps, costing way more, sounding much worse. So, yeah, great platform for uh, for tweaking to your desires. Um, I'm happy to share any info I've figured out regarding this little guy, or if anyone wants to get in touch with me doing one, I guess I could have my arm twisted. Um, cool. Thanks for watching.